the situation is incredibly dangerous. Uh, the situation is is fluid. It is dynamic. Uh, I would, first of all, thank all Minnesotans who chose to protect our cities, who chose to protect their neighbors and stay home. Thank you for that. I myself can can fully understand the rage. I spoke this evening to uh, to George Floyd's siblings uh, quite extensively. Uh, I understand that rage. We've talked about it. We we understand what has to happen. Um, what's going on out there right now is not that. Uh, the wanton destruction, and specifically of ethnic businesses that took generations to build, are being torn down. Um, all of those infrastructures of, of civil society and the things that make our city great, which, which lends me to believe as we look at this, um, the disenfranchisement that, that went with uh, what we witnessed with, with George's death is one thing. Um, but the absolute chaos, th this is not grieving. The force that we have out there now is about three times larger than the one in the 60s, which was the largest during the race riots, and they're out there right now. And the capacity to be able to do offensive action, and they're out there doing that, arresting the, best, the folks that we can. But as you've seen, there's already uh, shots being fired back at our people. Um, this arson that is taking place puts many people at risk. Our firefighters are specifically and, and very uh, open to target, and Minneapolis Fire has been responding heroically. And I tell you all the citizens, uh, the response time is fast as we want to get it. And that responsibility, as I said today, for coordination lies with us. Uh, I will take responsibility for the underestimating the wanton destruction and the size of this crowd. Um, we have deployed a force that I think as we sat down together and talked about, um, would have in any other civilian military or civilian police operation worked. But the terrifying thing is to hear people who've seen this and myself of looking at this, it resembles more of a military operation at times now as especially ringleaders moving from place to place.